All right. This is the Audi A5. And the issue I'm having is that my AC light keeps going off. It'll, it'll turn on for a little bit. And as I'm driving or if I'm idle, it'll shut off. So I thought I was low on Freon. Check my Freon. It's my low side. It's the high side. I don't know where I put my top at. But <clears throat> so you guys can get a general idea of what I'm talking about. I would, I would, uh, I don't know, make sure my radio don't come on, but anyway, my, my AC button, when I would hit AC, it would turn on, it's not doing it right now because I already, um, changed the part, just want to make sure it worked, but normally when I hit the AC button, it will come on and then it will just shut back off. Come on, shut back off. So, I'm gonna show you guys what the fix was. And here's how you fix that issue right here. So you will take each one of these off. doing this with one hand, so bear with me. I'm gonna just set this up here. It's magnetic anyway, so. So, by the way, I do have a different grill, so I'm not pretty sure how yours will come off. You got the regular standard grill, but I got an updated grill on this. And um, right here is going to be your issue. It's a pressure switch. And actually, I changed this out before. I bought an aftermarket one um, off of Amazon and this is the aftermarket one you can see it has a silver tip and um, basically this one worked for a little bit and it stopped I mean it, it probably worked for not even a day so this is really cheap it don't even have no numbers or anything on it like no reference number part number so this is the new one and this one has some um, reference numbers and part numbers on it so you squeeze that tab right there pull it out and I got some pliers so you can take it off with a socket but it's kind of tight on this back side right here this is kind of in the way so it's hard to get a socket down over that a deep socket so I just use some pliers or if you got a wrench you can use a wrench too but it's not you don't make it too tight you just want to just barely so I'm loosen this up See how that just turned on? And basically, once you do that, you just spin it off by hand. Right here, a little Freon come out. A little. I'm gonna take this off. You hear that? But anyway. So, basically, that's what that valve looks like down there. And this one has a black tip. And this one has some part numbers on it. I'll put those numbers there so you can see it. There we go. And this one is working fine. And basically, you just screw it, screw it on. Same way, screw it off, screw it back on. And um, let's get this down in here. And there's an O-ring down there too. You wanna make sure you don't take your O-ring off. Keep the O-ring going. Um, the O-ring sits on the inside of this it's not in this, not in the pressure switch, but it's on the valve itself. So just leave that O-ring that when you take the old one off, leave the O-ring on. And you don't need a whole lot of force to tighten this, just a little, little, uh, 
you know, kind of can be hand tightened, but you know, I put a little bit more something on, you know, vibration sometimes make make things come loose. So, and put that back on, put your covers back on, and um, that's it. That will solve your problem for your AC cutting on, cutting off. And more than likely, it's the pressure switch, or it could be low on Freon too. So, just double check your Freon level. That's fine. Go to the pressure switch. That solved my problem. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All right. Thank you.